The penalty injection in one sentence was perfectly described by James Shore. It means giving an object its instance variables. But because I know that you are still confused, let's take a closer look. What actually are dependencies here? Well, these are objects a specific class depends on. Let's take a look at this computer. To be able to run properly, it needs a processor, RAM, a hard drive and a graphics card. So these single components are the computer's dependencies, because the computer depends on these components. If we think of this computer now as a class in programming, we could either create the single components in the computer class or we could create them somewhere else. Let's take a look what happens if we create them in the computer class. This would mean every computer that we create has the same specs and if we change, for example, the hard drive, it will be changed for all computers. This is bad. Dependency injection solves this problem. One way of injecting dependencies is via constructor injection. So we pass the computer's components as constructor arguments, which allows us to give each computer instance different components. This is very good for testing as well, because we might want to test if a computer runs with an AMD graphics card, but also if it runs with an NVIDIA graphics card. This way, we can decide which graphics card the computer we want to test should have. Besides constructor injection, there are more complex dependency injection libraries that inject the dependencies behind the scenes. With these libraries, we can usually also decide about the lifetime of our dependencies. There is no reason for the graphics card to be active when we just want to do some office work, so it doesn't need to take up that unnecessary memory here. But for playing a game, it is needed, so we can say that the graphics card lives as long as the game is open and not during the whole lifetime of our application. And that's really everything about it. I recommend you apply this concept in one of your projects to fully understand how it works in practice. Thank you.